Ladies and gentlemen, we are living in period of change. For over two years, the global impact of the COVID-19 pandemic has been unprecedented. In 2022, Indonesia recovery has been accelerated. However, the recovery process has been uneven. This has emphasized the need for reliable data to inform more targeted approach and better policy-making decisions. This year, Postlab Jakarta has continued to provide technical advice to the government of Indonesia on data innovation and data science implementation. I am very pleased to see their focus on supporting the government's agenda on inclusive growth for MSMEs through various projects such as the development of the informational data analytic platform and the research on systemic barriers faced by women impact entrepreneurs. UN Global Pulse has introduce strategic foresight approach to explore potential developments that could impact the futures of Indonesia's MSME, which was critical in helping Bapenas build upon our anticipatory capacity, especially as we are in the process of developing the new long-term national development plan 2025-2045 this year. I recognize this 10 years collaboration between Pulse Lab Jakarta and the Indonesian government has reached an important milestone in 2022. Ministry of National Development Planning is encouraging that the lab will be transforming into regional facility as the United Nations Global Pulse Asia Facility, UNGPAP, as one of the concrete actions cited in the G20 Bali Leaders Declaration. This transformation acknowledges the effectiveness of bilateral and multilateral cooperation for a strong data innovation ecosystem and indicates greater possibilities for the future. I would like to invite you to read this annual report to see the journey of progress that PLG has made in 2022. I would like to further express my gratitude to the government of Australia for its continued support and commitment to the work of Pusulab Jakarta. Finally, I look forward to further collaborations that can continue to create meaningful impact in Indonesia and the Asia-Pacific region. Thank you.